Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's one more word problem for you. It says that Sam had 260 erasers. He had three quarters or three fourths as many sharpeners as erasers. He had five times as many markers as sharpeners. How many markers did Sam have? All right, let's draw a model so we don't get confused. Let's draw a model for the number of erasers that Sam had. Okay, so let's uh, put it down here. Let's say this one over here represents the block or the number of erasers that Sam had. Okay, so this is erasers and this is 260 in number, right? And let's put some color. Okay, so these are the erasers that Sam has got and he had three quarters as many sharpeners as erasers. Okay, now three quarters would mean that if this whole block is divided into four equal parts, then three quarters would be three of those parts, right? So three quarters would be this guy over here. This is how many erasers or sorry, sharpeners he had. So this is how many sharpeners he had. Okay, and let's put that down here as sharpeners. Okay, so he had three quarters as many sharpeners as erasers. So we have that here and let's change the color. Maybe let's call it blue. All right. Now what we have next is he had five times as many markers as sharpeners. So he had five times as many these blue blocks for markers as he had for sharpeners. So let's take these blue blocks and copy them five times. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so these are the total number of markers that he had. All right, these are the markers. And we have to find out how many markers did Sam have. So we have to find out how many markers he had. So this would be the question mark that we have to find out. And also let me change the color of these so we don't get confused. So let's put some other color, pink for markers. Okay, now let's see. How do you find out what this is equal to? Well, we know that this guy is three quarters. Okay, the sharpeners is three quarters of the eraser. So let's first find out how many sharpeners he had. Okay, now sharpeners are, okay, sharpeners are equal to three quarters of the erasers. And three quarters of the erasers would mean three quarters of 260. So sharpeners are three quarters of 260, which means three quarters multiplied by 260. And let's simplify this. Well, uh, after simplifying, what do you get? If you divide both these by two, then you get two here and you get one, three, zero, 130 here. I think this can be simplified further. So let's see. This when divided by 2 is 1 and this when divided by 2 is 6 and 5, 65. Now what we have is sharpeners are equal to 3 times 65 upon 1. Now how much is 3 times 65 or 65 times 3? Well, it's uh, 3 times 5 is 15 and 3 times 6 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So there were 195 sharpeners that Sam had. Okay, so Sam had 195 sharpeners, which means that this is equal to 195. These three blue blocks together are equal to 195. Okay, so if he had 195 sharpeners, then how many markers did he have? Well, we know that he had five times as many markers as sharpeners, right? He had five times as many markers as sharpeners. So all we do is five times as many sharpeners, which is five times 195. And how much is five times 195 or 195 times five? Well, it's five times five is 25. Two carried over five times nine is 45 plus two is 47. Then five times one is five plus four is nine. So Sam had 975 markers. So there are 975 markers, all these pink blocks together. Well, that's just one method of solving this problem. The other one is the units method, okay? So you calculate how much the value of each unit is. Okay, so we start from here, from the erasers. Now we know that four units of the erasers are equal to 260. So how much is one unit equal to? Well, one unit would be 260 divided by four. 
Now, 260 divided by 4, let's see, 260 divided by 4 is 4 goes into 26 6 times, and it gives you 24 with the remainder of 2. Then you bring down the 0, and 4 goes into 25 times, and there is no remainder. So, 260 divided by 4 is equal to 65. Okay, so one unit, this one unit over here is equal to 65. Okay, so one unit is equal to 65. Now for markers, how many units are there? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, if one unit is equal to 65, then how many are 15 units equal to? Well, 15 units are equal to simply 15 times 65, right? Or 65 times 15. And how much is that? Let's see. 65 times 15. 15 times 5 is 75. You have 5 here and 7 carried over. 15 times 6 is 90 plus 7 is 97. So you have 975. So 15 units are equal to 975. And 15 units mean all these markers together. So all these markers together are 975 in number. And that's the same as the answer that you got using the first method. So it doesn't matter which method you use, you still get to the same answer. So Sam had 975 markers. Well, that brings us to the end of this word problem. I hope you understood it. And now you will go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.